Do you like your Harley Davidson motorcycles as much as I do? Do you still have love for the brand even though you don't agree with their current policies? Well, I have five ways that you can reflect change in the motor company. Stay tuned. You know, I'm a newer rider. It took me till middle age to have enough extra money to buy my first bike, a Harley Davidson. So much I bought a second one as a project bike because that's all I could afford. Without financing, of course. <laughs> Three years later, it's exposed that my beloved Harley leadership has instituted unfair hiring practices, supports left-wing social agendas, and has imposed hefty monetary requirements of its dealer base to build mini malls within their dealership stores. Then they announced all bikes will be uh, electric in 11 years and they've begun manufacturing bikes overseas for sales back in the US, something promised not to do. My bubble has burst. My love has been jilted. In last week's episode, I covered DEI and the response was tremendous. Many of you feel the same way I do and want to help save our beloved brand from imploding. And the most reoccurring recommendations were to demonstrate to the motor company that we're not happy and we're not going to be purchasing any more goods or services from them closely followed by having the CEO removed from their position. Those were the two biggest recommendations. So I came up with five ways to influence Harley-Davidson to make changes. Number one, provide direct feedback to Harley-Davidson through their customer service, investor relation, and social media departments. Each of them have phone numbers, each of them have different email addresses, and each can receive mail in Milwaukee. So reach out to them. I'm going to put the addresses and the contact information on the screen right here. And this will allow you to copy that down, do a screenshot, and start your campaign. But at least you're helping out, and that's a contribution. If enough of these letters come into investor relations, into media relations, and customer service, they can't ignore it. Number two. Engage with the Harley riding community. You're doing it right now by watching this video, making comments on this video, sharing your thoughts with others that are watching this video. I assure you, representatives at Harley-Davidson are reading these comments. Celebrities and other influencers are reading these comments and sharing them with their social groups. And this is spreading the word. This is gonna help. Discuss these issues with your fellow riders, your local hog chapter. Gauge sentiment and potential collective action. I recommend that you create a local action group and then locate other action groups in your region or across the country. Then plan a ride to Milwaukee to the headquarters of Harley Davidson during the annual stockholders meeting. Line up outside with hundreds or thousands of bikes and demonstrate that you're concerned about the future of their leadership. Then appoint shareholder proxies those who hold shares of Harley-Davidson to attend the meeting. And while in attendance at that meeting, make a motion to vote and remove the CEO and any other board members who actively promote these egregious errors in diversity, equity, inclusion, and promote ESG, as well as the full electrification of the Harley-Davidson line by 2035. We need to identify board members who support the core Harley-Davidson customer. All of you out there right now watching are the core Harley-Davidson customer. I can assure you. All publicly traded companies in the U.S. hold annual stockholder meetings and this is when it's permissible to make board changes and leadership changes by voting. Number three, support alternative brands. I'm rolling up on an Indian dealership right now so let's go check out what's going on there. Looks like Indian's got something going on today. Maybe some kind of an event. I see a tent. So I'm gonna go over there and check out Indian, see what it's all about. I get my free stickers now, I guess, right? Filming you, Tom, smile. Yep. <laughs> what do you have to say to Harley Davidson? <laughs> Build a better bike. Oh! Yeah! Shots fired! Shots fired! Meanwhile. 
and celebrate diversity and inclusion. Uh, and and I just and that's one of the reasons why I, I took the job is because I believe in in a, a, an incredible American icon and the transformation and the opportunity to to contribute positively to a very div divisive society. Have you tried the spray filter before? That have not. This definitely has a, a chill vibe, very much like my soft tail heritage. Know that if you got a hairy situation coming, you got good brakes and a big enough engine to get out of trouble. There she is, Indian Springfield, dark horse. It's got the Indian guy right on the front fender, which is kind of cool. It's not over the top nostalgic, just enough. But that front and the seal looks pretty tough. I like that little point right there. Very, very cool. <laughs> Let's see if the bag's open without anything. Oh yeah. So you got your key fob, and this is for your saddlebag remote lock and unlock. That's pretty cool. Let's try it. Lock. Yep. See the click? Unlock. And then, oop. You gotta press and hold. Okay. Pretty cool. That is a cool feature. You also get the saddlebag release buttons right here, which is pretty cool. And that's awesome. You can tell they put some thought into that. You know, if there was no Harley Davidson, this is definitely the cool, stripped down, classic touring machine that's out on the market. I mean, I like it much better than anything from the Japanese guys, the British guys, the European guys. So this is definitely it. But if you compare it to the Road King, which is this is what uh, the Springfield's main competition is. I can tell some differences in the quality. The quality of the paint on a Road King I feel is much better. Some of the little parts here and there, the metal feels less metally. You know, it just doesn't feel like the same. It feels like it's stamped in, in certain areas. Though I do like some cool features like this remote latching saddlebags. So, I mean, it's it's a close second. They're about the same price, but, you know, I would give the edge to the Road King. And then you throw all the Harley heritage on it and all of that stuff. And it's just like, you know, that's why we like Harley, right? But if Harley wasn't around, would I buy this? Yeah, I think I would. My mindset's been on sport cruisers, but I see this as an upgrade to my soft tail heritage. And if I'm doing a lot of regional trips, weekend trips, which I do, um, this bike actually makes on paper more sense for me than uh, the, the Sport Chief and the Buell Super Cruiser. It's just those have a badass factor, and this has a slight badass factor, not a large badass factor. It's a different badass factor, I guess. If you give me some apes, then I think the badass factor kicks in a little bit more. Give it a little bit more of an exhaust, yeah but it's just a different badass factor, right? You got featherweight, middleweight, heavyweight boxers, and they each have their own level of badassness. And this is just different badass, I guess. Because I do feel slung and low, and I love that feeling. I just, I guess they need the bars up here a little bit, and that would give me what I'm looking for on this one. But yeah, look at this. Just, oh, effortless. What? If I was doing this on my heritage, and of course, you know, it's a 27 year old bike but I'd be, it would not be as smooth and as fluid as this. Wow, was not expecting that. <laughs> what do you mean? So this is like a, a chill cruiser, but then when you want it to be, you got enough power, let it go. Did you try the different ride modes on it? Yeah. Okay. yeah. I didn't notice much difference in this one, yeah. in the ride modes. Okay. But yeah, very impressed. And it even has a good exhaust note on it. It's got that little pop, 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 and and that's fantastic. Harley does not give you that. You got to buy something else to give you any type of note. Yep. It sounds like a sewing machine. Yeah. <laughs> and this, you, at least they give you something. Yep. And it's nice. You can like uh, get they have stage one intake, stage one exhaust. You can get those built in. You know, if you order one, uh, stage two cams as well. Oh really? So you can order it that way. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Did you get a card for a free t-shirt? No, I didn't. Go inside, see a salesperson, they'll get you that. And okay. If there's anything else you want to ride, come on out, man. We'll, we'll help you out. I appreciate it. Thanks, man. Yeah, have a good day. Yeah. Well, that was fun. But I feel like I just cheated on my girlfriend by riding on Indian motorcycles. But I've just proven to myself that I like bike. <laughs> I like motorcycles.
Number four, boycott specific products or services or the entire brand. Some people say this will hurt workers and mom and pop dealers. The labor union has a deal in place that guarantees so much pay for the workers, regardless of production numbers. Once the bike reaches dealers, Harley is out of the equation. So I say let capitalism demonstrate how powerful it is. Dealers will lower prices, give financing incentives, offer bundled maintenance packages in order to sell bikes. They're gonna do what they have to do. And those bikes will sell eventually. Right now, bikes sit because they'll make more money selling it in two to three months at full price or near full price and just deal with the same old, same old. But if we starve them out in two or three months, you're gonna see huge opportunities for consumers. And those consumers, not knowing the politics of the day, they're gonna get great deals. And some of you out there too are just like, you just can't deny it. And that's gonna affect margins. And then at the end of the quarter, the next quarter, the dealer meeting, all the dealers are going to stand up and go, look, you just shrunk our margin. Yeah, we're surviving, but barely. You know, we need these concessions. And then that's going to send a message that hits the pocketbook of Harley-Davidson. They're not going to be able to ship as many bikes. They're going to have to give profits away back to the dealers. It's simple supply and demand economics. That was fueled by policies that the head office instituted. And the consumer said, nope, we've had enough. In addition, stock shares will probably drop because of poor sales. And remember, for sales is not sales to you, it's, it's sales of units to dealers. That's what we're going for. And the labor unions have agreements in place to accommodate fluctuations in distribution of the motorcycles. So we have a little bit of an opportunity window here to do this. I'd like to not see it drag out past the next collective bargaining agreement that Harley does with the labor union so it doesn't impact them for 2026. If we're going to send a message in that sense by boycotting specific products or services or the entire brand and we want to do it through the lack of buying new motorcycles, then we got to act on it right now. You can also just boycott service. Choose to get services from, you know, a local mom and pop independent dealer or just shop and rather than going to a Harley dealer or do it yourself. Now's a great time to learn how to change your oil. It's not that hard. And there's other ways, like don't finance your bike through Harley-Davidson Financial Services. Use a local bank, credit union. Most bikes are financed and Harley makes tons of money off the interest, so choose not to use their financial services if you must buy a Harley-Davidson bike until this matter is resolved. Stop buying their merch. Buy from independent brands in the motorcycle community. There's tons of them out there. Like First Manufacturing, makers of custom fit riding vests, jackets, gloves, belts. They make awesome products. Use Kenny Quest Show at checkout for 25% off on First Manufacturing gear. Buy your parts from independent shops like JMP Cycles. They have a huge parts selection plus merchant gears. Join their Riders Plus program for 10% off every day and notification of pre-sale events and more. Use my link in the description to save 10% off on every order. Think of it this way. Harley is a hot chick and if you reject her, she'll come on to you stronger. So keep rejecting her until she bends to your will. The first to break will lose. Harley has more to lose, so you're in control. Number five, make a financial impact. Sell your HD stock. Harley Davidson just announced they are buying back stock shares. Hmm, why could that be? Why do you want to buy back your own stock? What benefit do you have to that? Well, perhaps they feel that their stock is going to go up and they want to buy more stock shares at the current price. Or maybe they want to go back to being a privately held company. Wouldn't that be a, a switch? I don't know, but something's up. Another way is to replace your bike with a different brand of bike, like the Indian <laughs> that I just rode. Something from them. Or maybe it's time to check out that Honda Goldwing or that Kawasaki RS900, that Boss Hog. Just something different. Maybe donate your bike to a worthy charity. There's lots of worthy charities out there that could benefit with your bike. One charity is the Forgotten Angels, who raises money by raffling off bikes donated to them. And that money is used to help fund the care and support of children aging out of the foster care program. When you're 18, the host family stops receiving checks, so they pretty much kick you out 
lot of them with a trash bag of their clothes thrown over their shoulder and they hit the road. And Forgotten Angels there is, they're there to help transition, get those kids a bank account, get those kids a driver's license, get them their first job, put a roof over their head, give an opportunity to work on their compound building tiny homes. And they sell those tiny homes and whoever's involved with that project splits the, uh, the proceeds. So donate your bike to a worthy cause. Donate your Harley Davidson clothing to charity. A lot of low income and homeless people would love to wear Harley Davidson gear and branded clothing. They can care less about how woke things are. They're just trying to survive. So donate your clothes. Although not recommended, you could decide to blow your bike up. And broadcast it all over social media for everybody to see, which will lead to Harley Davidson taking notice as well as everybody else. So that's a good thing. But when you do film that, be sure to share it on social media so everyone can see it. Make sure that you're blowing up your bike, it's your bike, and you're sincere about it. That really goes a lot farther. Sometimes the message gets lost and, and people will get a little caught up in the details of, you know, why is there a 35, 40 year old bike getting blown up? And why aren't they blowing up a brand new street glide or road glide or something that we know is ridden on a daily? So you're sincere blowing up your, your bike will go a lot, a lot farther for the message to go back to Harley Davidson. All right, folks, that's gonna do it for this one. I appreciate you coming along with me. My hope is that some of you will join up and take action. Talking about it's fine, but talk is talk. Actions speak louder than words. If anyone starts an action group, post the information in the comments so others can learn about your action group and perhaps multiple action groups can meet up and coordinate for that visit to Milwaukee at the annual shareholders meeting. Be sure to hit that bell for notifications because next week I'll be reporting on one possible reason Harley is in this position. And it goes back to the WL engine days and involves BMW, Jochen Zeitz, former company Puma, and a possible connection to what is happening today. Until then, if you didn't catch my video on Harley Davidson and DEI, Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. Click here. If you click on the left, then you'll be able to watch a video that's very entertaining. It talks about my favorite Harley Davidson models from the 1980s. Take care, guys, and keep that shiny side up. I'll see you there.